So, I got my Mountain Dew, and I'm ready to make people cry about my opinions. Hello everybody, Infernape Shinjo here, here today with a starter Pokemon list. Now, as you can see, every single starter Pokemon up to Generation 8 are here. And I thought this would be a fun video to make, depending on your definition of fun at least. Because I'm doing this just for fun, but I know there are going to be people that aren't too fond of some of my opinions, probably. But I thought it would be a fun idea anyway. I did do a starter Pokemon tier list uh, probably a couple of years ago. I don't think I included the final forms in this one, or in that one. I think it was only the base forms, but I somehow managed to find one with all the forms. Because one of them I found like didn't have the Gen 8 mons, or they were missing something or whatever. So, this is the best one that I could find. And it even works better because they have Pikachu and Eevee on here. Which is fair because they're technically starters in their own right in Let's Go. But the first thing that I need to fix is these tiers. Smug? What does smug even mean? Let me call this... Let's call this the best around. Post-production Shinjo, don't you dare play the song. Because if you do, then I'm gonna get hit for a copyright strike. I think otherwise the tiers are pretty solid. Leave out in the rain? I think we could just leave that out in the rain. Because we have enough tiers. And less tiers mean less having to go up and down to fix all of this stuff. Yeah, that looks good to me. Now a couple of things to go over. First of all, I'm going to be judging these Pokemon based off of a combination of things. The video games, their appearance in the anime, if I've actually used them personally, or how much I enjoy them, what my memories are of them. And I'm not going to spend too much time on all of them, because there are 74 mons here. And if I spent time gushing over them, then we're not going to have any time left. So, let's start with the base forms of the Kanto starters. I feel like that's fair. Because Kanto is something that most people grew up with. Overall, from the anime, that's where most people started Pokemon. So, I'm going to say Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle all get into the love tier. I would say... No, here's how I'm going to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Squirtle top, then Bulbasaur, then Charmander. And then... Ivysaur... Ivysaur's... Eh... Ivysaur's a meh to me. No, Venusaur is... <sighs> Don't want to put Venusaur above Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur really looks cool. Venusaur looks cool in its own right, but I don't think it can be higher tier. Now, Charmeleon, my boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there. Right there. I think I like Charmeleon a lot more than Charmander. Actually, not I think, because if I was thinking about it, then it, I, would have to, I would have to take some time. And like I said, I don't want this video to be too long. But let me... I mean, I like Charizard. Let me finish up the Kanto starters first, and then I'll go over my thoughts on them. Honestly, War Turtle's a meh as well to me. Now, Blast... You know what? Let's do this. That way, it's the same as the other tier. So, as far as the Kanto starters, it isn't that hard to figure out that Squirtle's my favorite. Like, even now, I have a giant Squirtle plush that I use as a pillow. I don't know... Where it came out, I'm assuming it came out in a store, obviously. But, like, I had a giant Squirtle, and it just looks... It looks cool. Squirtle looks cool. And, as far as Bulbasaur, yeah, I still stand by the Bulbasaur is the best one. Ivysaur just looks kind of... Kind of cool, but not really. And then, as far as the Charmander situation, the whole thing about it being saturated certainly doesn't help its case. But that being said, I do still like Charmeleon and Charmander. Charizard, honestly, I'm just putting them down in the lower tier just to tick people off. So, Johto. Honestly, I think for the base forms of the starters, it's going to be the same tier as the Kanto starters. 
actually a different a different setup. Water first, then fire, then grass. Because I know that there are people out there that don't like Chikorita because, like, I don't know. It's more just based off of bulkiness. It's not good for the first gym or probably most of the gyms. But that being said, Chikorita's still cool. Going off of talking about Charmander, I think Bayleaf is going to be a higher tier. Because I like Bayleaf's design. Honestly, Bayleaf is probably my favorite from the three. And I think Meganium's going to be down there. Meganium still looks cool, but in all honesty, if you just had all three of these mons, maybe even change Meganium's color, you could argue that it's a different mon entirely. Quilava, probably the same. There's nothing really that stands out for me about it. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, I might have to change something. But I'll worry about that later. I'll finish up the Johto starters. I think, think Typhlosion's gonna go above Charizard, and then Croconaw, again, it's one of those mid-stage mons, and I think the best way to compare it is to War Turtle, because it's another mid-stage water starter that's early. Honestly, I prefer War Turtle's design to Croconaw. And now the thing that I think I might have to change, for, where'd he go? Where'd Feraligator go? Oh, he's back down there. What the heck? Feraligator up there. Totodile up there. They have to go in the top tier. They just, they just have to. If you've seen any of my videos involving starter Pokemon, you could almost not be surprised about this. Then, let me see if there's anything else about I can discuss with Johto before I go into Hoenn. Really, I think I covered it all. Obviously, I like Totodile. I'm pretty sure it was the first starter that I started out with in Johto. I'm actually playing through Soul Silver right now. I just started it, and I started with Totodile. And honestly, Totodile just looks cool. I think for the most part, I prefer the water starter in most gens. Alright, so with that being said, we're going to Hoenn now. So let me start with the base starters. Let's put Mudkip. Actually, Mudkip's cool, but I don't think, in my opinion, they're enough to get into high top tier like Totodile and for Alligator. I'll put them there. That's still pretty solid. Trico. Trico's cool. Trico's cool. Well, I'm putting them. In, I'm putting them in the like tier. Because, first of all, I don't want too many in the love tier. And I basically end up saying the same thing over and over again. If you could just move over Blastoise, that'd be great. Now, Grovile. Grovile deserves to be in there. And Sceptile. I think he's fine right there. Honestly, I'm just kind of throwing them wherever. I don't really have any rhyme or reason about it. Let me finish up with Marsh Storm now that I'm here. I think Marsh Stomp's gonna go like right between War Turtle and Feraligator. I mean, Croconaw. The fact that it's a water ground type, which is actually the first time that a water starter has been dual typed in the the list that I've been going through so far, that's just that's still cool. And Torchic, I mean, I like Torchic. Torchic's cool. Blaziken's cool. If my mouse would like to work, that would be great. That's not where I meant to put you. Now, Combuskin, I'm putting Combuskin down here. Combuskin's cool, but it's, it just falls into the mid-stage kind of curse, I guess, to put it. Because people always say about how the mid-stages look super weird, and we're definitely going get to get to that later. Because, like, looking at all these tiers, the only mid-stages that are actually up here are Chameleon, Bayleaf, Grovile. Wow. Everything else is in the mat here. Whoopsie. Okay, so here we are. We are in Sinnoh. So, let's take care of this. All three of them S tier. And I think it's fair to put... Yeah, Monferno first. Yeah, I think Monferno first, then Infernip, then Chimchar. They're still all cool, but I think that's how I prefer them. Even though that's weird because Infernape's my mascot, but he's not the my favorite one from the set. But, you know, I don't know. Now, Turtwig. Turtwig's cool. I like Turtwig. 
I like Torterra. Yeah, I think Torterra is fine right there. Honestly, my mouse is just kind of just not working and just throwing them wherever. And I'm just like, yeah, sure. That's where it goes. I do like Piplup. Piplup's cool. Piplup can go there. And Polion can go there. But I think Grottle and Printplup go in the Met here. That's fair. That's fair. Oh no, now we're going to the the Gen 5. Oh no. This is going to be fun. Let me move this down a little bit. Hopefully it's still visible for you guys. Let me actually check. It is not. Crap. Okay. Let me just bring it back up a little bit. Now how's that look? And you know what? We'll make it work. You'll see the whole thing at the end anyway. So... Let's get this out of the way. Pig Knight, obviously in the dislike tier. I don't, honestly, I don't think there are going to be any mods that I put in the hate tier. Maybe. Let me see. Yeah. Because I think the only one that I would put in the dislike tier is probably Quilladin. And I guess, if anything, I can make do with one less tier so let me get rid of the hate tier because like hate is certainly a strong word and I don't think there are any mods that I would actively hate plus this gives me more room Snivy I like Snivy I would honestly put superior nope superior I would honestly put superior above it if this thing wants to work thank you Servine is meh Tepig's cool Honestly, Embor's a meh. I feel like the design could work, but it's just... I don't know. Now, Samurai... Actually... Let me go to d -Watt. I'm putting d -Watt and Samurai in that tier. It might be because of Legends RC is coming out to give them some more love. But I just like the design. And I do think the d probably the best one from the line. So sorry, fans of Oshawott, but... It it's my opinion and um you know what put Snivy there then Oshawa then Tepic yeah that's fair because if I pick a Unova playthrough then I probably choose Snivy first then if I didn't want to go for Snivy I pick Oshawa so that's fair and then Chespin honestly Chespin I love this little goofball. He is such an idiot in the anime, but I still love him. Now, let me... Chestnut? Do I put him right there? Because my mouse just kind of stopped, and that's where it ended up. Mm. Yeah, you know, that's, that's fair. I can make some changes later if I really need to. Fennekin... Finnegan I like. I don't think he's... Yeah, I don't think it's a better starter than Tepig as far as base design goes. Brixen? Brixen's okay. Brixen's probably the... Mm, let me fix that before I say that because then it'll just not make sense. Brixen's probably the best one from the line. So... I'm putting breaks in, I mean, Del Fox in the dislike tier. I mean, there are a bunch of things going against it. The fact that it's another bipedal fire starter. And actually, I think all of them have, to an extent. Charizard, Typhlosion. Typhlosion, I think, can go down on all fours. But, like, yeah, actually, all of the starters have been on two feet. Yikes. Now I can kind of see why people are upset about that. But that, coupled with the fact that Delphox's 3D design does not do it any favors. Now, Froki and its family, I'm gonna do it like... Um... No, actually... I'm gonna do it like this. Because honestly, from what I remember... When the starters for Kalos were first revealed, I remember thinking that Froki was the best one. And then, 
everybody said no. Fro I don't know if everybody said that Froki wasn't good or whatever. And then Greninja got revealed. And then everybody started jumping on the bandwagon. I don't know. Then that's where I decided to change ship and decided to go for chest banners. Honestly? Wait, where's Charizard? Oh, you know what? Charizard and Greninja are basically the same Mon. I mean, besides their different typings. But they're two starters that have been oversaturated to heck and back. And... No, actually... If I do that, I'm going to have to fix this. Because Frogadier and Froki have to go above Greninja. Because I prefer them as far as design. Because they actually look like a, ho a cohesive unit. Whereas Greninja just gets a tongue scarf out of nowhere. If he had Frubbles, then he would look like he belongs. But, I don't know. Still a decent design at the same time. But the fact that it's been oversaturated just... Kind of makes me not want to put it in a top tier. Alright, so we got the Alola starters up next. So let me put my boy slash girl, Poplio, in top tier. I think that's probably the only one that I'm going to put in top tier from the Alola starters. Because Brion's a meh. I can't see anything else now, so I'm going to have to do this for now. And Primarina... Is I prefer more to Brion, but it's still kind of I don't know. And then on that note, Dartrix is a meh. I feel like Dartrix just feels like the odd one out from the group. Rowlet, do I want to put him in the? I'm putting him in the love tier. He's not the starter that I picked at first, but it's the starter that just has a whole bunch of memes, so I appreciate that. Uh, Decidui? Yeah, Decidui is cool. I don't think he, he's going to be put in a higher tier than that, but that's fair. Uh, I do like Litten's design. Cat. Incineroar. I like Incineroar, but again, it's one of those things of a starter that's on two legs. Is that all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did cover the Poplio line. Okay, so let's see. Let's just take care of the rest of these now, and then I can sort it out later. Drizzile can go in the mat here, because it just looks... Eh. Looks kind of weird. And on that note, um, Thwacky? That's your name. You go there. Um, Inteleon? Yeah, I'll, put, I'll just put Inteleon in the liked here. He's not the... He's not my favorite water starter, if it wasn't obvious already. But at the same time, it evolved from Sobble. So I feel like I have to give it due respect. And honestly, the fact that it evolved from Sobble probably is the only reason it's in the like tier. And on that note, Sobble goes in the top tier. And actually, uh, where is Score Bunny going to go? I'll put Score Bunny... Nope, this this mouse does not want to work. I'll put Score Bunny right beside Chespin because they got the same tooth. Uh, Cinderace, he's not the best fire starter. He's he's not the worst though because Del Fox is right down below him. I Cinderace's design just looks weird. To quote Patters, it looks like a guy in a fursuit. So yeah, that's kind of strange. Rillaboom actually looks pretty cool. And as far as Grookey... Actually, let me just put all of these four... So let's put Eevee back up there. And Pikachu up. How in the heck is Tepe get picked up? What in the heck is going on here? Okay. Pikachu up there. Okay, so let's sort this out. So, this may be because of the Journey's anime... Excuse me, Mouse. Do you want to actually move these Pokemon like I'm planning on? Raboot goes in top tier. I think Grookey stays there. Eevee goes up there. And Pikachu goes very solidly right there. Probably right on the edge of top tier. So let me look at this again to see if I can make any changes. Or if I want to make any changes. 
Honestly, the only change that I can see being made from the top tier is maybe put Mudkip up there. Porchick and Trico are in the like tier and Mudkip's in the love tier. Yeah, I think it's I think it's fair to put Mudkip up here. I just don't know where or how to sort it. Uh let's see. So Totodile and the Chimchar line have to be at the very top. Eevee Eevee goes right beside it. Then I think Mudkip. Right there. Poplio, Sobble, Raboot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks good. In the dislike tier, the only ones I dislike are the ones that everybody dislikes. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so is there a way that you can see everything? No? Okay. So here is my starter Pokemon tier list. Get a good look at it because I'm about to move it up in three, two, I moved it up. Here you go. My favorite starter Pokemon. And honestly, the fact that it actually, you know what, this worked because you might still be able to see uh, Pig Knight, Quilladin, and Delphox down there. If not, well, you saw them anyway. And you've been watching this video since it started anyway, so that's not too much of a shock if you've been watching it the whole time. But yeah, this is a cool idea that I wanted to make, and I did do tier list before on starters, but the fact that every single one is here, especially mid stages, because when it comes to the starters, I could say that like Totodile, Chimchar, whatever, they're all top tier. But at the same time, in the case of Chimchar up here, I prefer Monferno to the other two. And when I think about a base form starter, I take into consideration each individual form that they evolve into. So at least with this, I can separate them. I'm just glad they didn't have all the EV illusions because that would have been a yikes for me. But that is my tier list. That is my opinion. Honestly, I feel like the only controversial ones that I might have are putting Charizard and Greninja down here and maybe Drizzile because I don't see many people like Drizzile. I don't know. Let me know your opinion down in the comment section. If you want to do this tier list yourself, um... I don't know, I guess I can leave it down in the description. I can, I, I can grab the link right now and take care of that. But yeah, this was a long video to make. Honestly, I didn't make many cuts, so the length of the video is probably how long that it is. But yeah, hopefully you don't bash me too much for these opinions. And if you do, I don't care. It's more views on the video anyway. I'll see you next time. Moment time.